Okay, brightest blessings everyone. On my last video that I made regarding the two children that had tortured that uh, that kitten to death by stoning it and then by hanging it from a tree. You know, I just posted that as soon as I saw that from the news because I found it horribly disgusting and I found it just really hard to swallow on two accounts. Uh, number one, from the animal's perspective, to be to be killed in such a fashion, and the the whole the whole cruelty issue of it, and two, from the children's perspective as well. What kind of crap were these little kids put through to be so sadistic and so cruel at such a tender age? Obviously, I pissed off one person by go the. By, that goes by the name of Dr. Strangelove and I'm sorry if I did that I was not looking to prosecute the little kids I think sitting in a jail cell is not going to help them at all especially at such a tender age um, problem is is that the news was saying that these that these kids cannot be helped free of charge with the psychological help that is obviously needed unless they're prosecuted. And the parents obviously can't pay or I don't even know if they're looking for help for the children since they're probably the ones that put the kids through this stuff. So the kids can't be prosecuted so therefore they can't get the help that they need desperately free of charge. And the news is saying they can't be prosecuted, so they need to have these... <laughs> Sorry, I've got my cat on my shoulder. They need to have these people from everyday walk of life who are psychiatrists, therapists in their profession, where they're volunteering to possibly help these kids because they want help for these kids. Obviously these kids need help. And a jail cell is not going to do it. I'm not trying to put them away forever. I'm not saying that they should be boiled in oil. I'm not saying anything like that. But the thing is is that they're falling through the cracks in the system. One parent, one mother is an undocumented illegal alien. And another mother is on a work visa. no matter whether they can afford or to get the help or not uh, they're obviously not asking for the help because their childhood obviously wasn't the cleaver household okay they need help and they're falling through the cracks because they're not able to get help and that's why they're asking citizens to come forward and volunteer their time to help these kids because these kids do need desperate help and I'm sorry if it sounded like my my focus was on the cat. Yeah, I do love animals, and yes, I'm not going to make the <laughs> God. I'm not going to make the uh, the abuse of the cat seem any any less important than it is because it is very important, and I think it needs to be addressed. But also, you know, I did, I'm not saying I want these kids to burn, okay? Yes, I was very upset and I was very emotional for both what happened to the cat and what these kids are going through. Obviously, there's, they need help. This is not normal kids. So, sorry if I offended you, but that's where I was coming from. Now, if I still offend you, well, then I just still offend you. But you know where I was coming from. Blessed be.